Proud Muslim, here we go, the same guy, he's changing his name. How are you, proud Muslim? Assalamu alaikum. Hmm? Wa alaikum as -salam. Uh, uh, I want to tell you something. Uh, you be talking about um hadiths and stuff in Islam. You don't believe I want to ask you a question. You don't believe in um, the hadith? The hadith. No, uh, I do, but I want to ask you, do you believe in the hadith? My friend, I don't believe in anything in Islam. Islam is a joke for me. And you, you just said to me, Assalamu alaikum, you broke the command of your prophet. What do you mean? Well, isn't it your prophet? He says, don't greet the Christians by saying to them, Assalamu alaikum. All right, that, that's uh, besides the point. But I mean, uh, no, no, it's not beside the point. You are, that, no. you are calling me to teach me about Islam. And now you are the one who is breaking the command of Islam. So who is the one who knows Islam, me or you? How you say to are you me? Upset? Are you upset that I said Islam? No, no, I'm not upset. I'm, my friend, I, I'm, I'm talking to you nicely. Don't, don't, don't be upset from me for speaking loud. I'm just asking you. How you say to me, Assalamu alaikum, and you are calling me to school me about Islam, but you should know that the Prophet he forbid you to say that to me. The Prophet said, don't initiate saluting of to the Jews. Don't say to them Assalamu alaikum. La tabda'u al-Yahuda wa nasara bis salam, and you speak Arabic as I understand. Yet you call me and you say assalamu alaikum. There's one, one one of two choices. Either you are ignorant in Islam or you are a hypocrite. Which one is you? Uh, uh, you want to talk about, you want to say, um, he said Prophet Muhammad said all these bad things, but he had uh, many fulfilled prophecies. This is not the question now. Don't change topic. We, 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 I will promise you, I will talk about the prophecy, no problem. But did your prophet say, don't say assalamu alaikum to Christians? The... the uh, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, I never heard of that. Okay, no problem, guys. He never heard of that. I accept that from you, and I will believe you. No problem. Now you tell me there is many fulfilled prophet for prophecy from the prophet. Give me one. Yes, and uh, Sahih uh, Bukhari, uh, Book One, uh, Hadith sixty-three. Read the Hadith. Prophet from Muhammad said that that uh, that the Arabs are gonna be competing in uh, tall buildings, and mm. that's uh, true right now. It's happening right now. Okay. Do you accept this Hadith? Yeah. Okay, I, I want you to promise me that you will not say I don't accept it. All right, I won't. All right. Guys, he is a person who said he accept the hadith. Read the hadith with me. Because your prophet, he said that many things will happen. And one of them, which is going to happen almost at the end, that they will have high building. So look what happened. The judgment day will not happen. Till the bigger groups fight each, of, each, uh, each other. And whereupon there will be a great number of casualty and in both sides and they will be following the same religion doctrine doctrine so what there's two big group they will have a big war and both of them they are following one religion okay then then the 30 that jar will appear the 30 not the first one the 30 and then each of them will claim that he is the message of Allah and then then the, the, the religious knowledge taken away from the from the people, which means there's nobody, there's no religious scholars. Number four, the earth, earthquake will increase in number, in number. Number five, time will pass so quickly, which means that they will become short. It's not 24 hours no more. And number six, affliction will appear. Number seven, al-haraj, al which means people killing each other and will increase. And then number eight, till wealth will be abundance, which means if you see money in the street, nobody will collect it. And then nobody will pay the cat. And then people will compete in each other in construction of high building. So look how many things have to happen before the Arab they start building high building. So your prophet is a false prophet because none of those things happen. Uh, but how do you know it sounds like they were supposed to be like one after the other? They could Don't you, my friend, uh, can't you read? Can't you read? I have it on the screen in front of you. It says number one, number yeah. two, number three, number four. Those things have to happen. He is mentioning in, in order. The on, the hour will not come. You don't start from the end, go into the, to the first. You start from things to happen from now and then until you arrive to the time of the judgment day. So the, the prophecy you gave me, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. And by the way, the Arab, they have high building during, even in the time of Muhammad because the Yemen, they have those high buildings since before Muhammad. <laughs> so what we will do now what we will do now your prophet is, is you you are the one who gave me a hadith to prove that muhammad is a fraud uh, 
And uh, you know, there's um, there's another hadith uh, that uh, where uh, Muhammad says. Uh, my that friend, my friend. You should... what, what's, your, what's your name, if you don't mind? What's your name? Uh, Abdul. Abdul, Mr. Abdul, you are the one who chose this hadith for me to prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet. The conclusion, do you agree with me, that this hadith proving that Muhammad is false because the the Arab will have high building after thirty the jail came. After the no money wanted need money. Do you need money? Do you need money now? I mean, do you know? Everybody need money. People getting poor. Bangladesh is the biggest Islamic country in the world. People are dying from anger, my friend. Somalia. So you're a prophet saying when those things happen, then the Arab they will have high building. Nobody will collect money. People see money in the street, nobody will take it. So if this is what your prophet said, and this is the proof to you that Muhammad is a prophet, that means Muhammad is a fraud, Mr. Abdul. Well, I don't know, but uh, all right. What well, there's uh, another uh, prophecy where he said, Okay, says we will go. Okay, oh, hold on, hold on. So, guys, there's another prophecy. So, this prophecy was false. Do you agree with me? Uh, I don't know how to respond to that. What do you mean? You have to respond. You are the one who chose it. We cannot jump to different one. I mean, we cannot do that, my friend. We are making hummus here. So, you have to tell me the proof is in front of you. Muhammad is a fraud. Either you agree that this is a false prophecy from a false prophet or you answer me. The proof in front of you, it was your choice, not my choice. I'm not the one who called you and say I'm going to show you this hadith. It's you who, who chose it. The hadith is so clear. Muhammad is a fraud. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? How come you know? How come you know that this hadith proved Muhammad is a prophet and now suddenly you do not know? No, I just uh, I heard it a lot on uh, Dawa channels. Ah, Dawa channels. So, so you you have a bunch of chickens laying their own phony eggs. It's a plastic eggs in in YouTube, and you take the phony eggs. You think there is a baby inside, but there's no chicken inside. So, what we will do now? Dawa channel. They are they are not Dawa. They are they are deceiving channel, obviously, because they lie to you. Here we go. That this hadith alone is enough to prove Muhammad is a fraud. But the time is, is passing so quickly. Yesterday it was only three hours for me. I don't know what happened. He hang up. <laughs> that was channel. <laughs> that was potato. I, the, I don't know. They, they told me in the Dawah channel, brother. And I, the hadith is obvious. It's clear. Muhammad is a fraud. And this is a Sahih Hadith. They cannot say this is a weak Hadith, which means this is against their Prophet. This is Sahih Al-Bukhari, Hadith number 7121. So they cannot say we don't accept it. And they are the one who promote this Hadith everywhere. But now after a Christian Prince, he got them busted, they will say, oh, this Hadith is wrong. We don't accept this Hadith, brother. People will walk in the street and nobody will collect the money. Why? Since when? Why food became for free? The sky is going to send sardine. Yesterday I opened the door. I did not go to the store. I found sardine coming from the sky. The prophecy of the prophet is happening. Sardine is coming. Tona is coming. I said, uh, Allah, I want tona. Tona came, big tona, in the top of my head. 400 kilogram, brother. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. Why you hang up? Where do you go? What happened? It was, a, it was an accident. Uh, accident. I hope you are okay. Is your finger is okay? All right. All right. Are you, are you going to listen to the hadith? Which hadith? Give me, give me the hadith. Go ahead. What? All right. Uh, wait, hold on one second. I'm trying to find the number real quick. Hmm. Yeah, on um, Sai Muslim uh, <clears throat> 2024 uh, and 25. Hmm. Uh, prophet, he said that um, they used to drink while you, while you're uh, down instead of standing up. That's proven to have uh, like uh, benefits. Okay, what is what what benefit? What is benefit? What do you mean? <clears throat> it's uh, it's been proven. Proven what? 
it's 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 like healthier, better, better. I mean, you can't deny that. So this is because it's healthier, or because it's something uh, else. It's healthier. Where do you get the reference that this is because of health issue? I, I sent you the link real quick. No problem, but it doesn't say what you are saying. Does it say it's healthier? Read the hate for me. No, it, uh, all right, one second. Remember, you are the one who chose the hadith, so I'm going to show you what the hadith is saying, right? Yeah. Yeah. It says, uh, Enes reported Allah's apostle disapproved of drinking water while standing. Hmm. Well, okay, but does it say because this is healthy? No. Okay, it so why you, why you are saying it is because it's healthy if it is not? Are you making things up? Because anything our Prophet tells us to do, we listen to. I mean, there's lots of things Prophet Muhammad told us to do, and they've been proven to have benefits like growing your beard and stuff like that. Okay, my friend, your Prophet, he said that people, they do that, the one who do that, he, he the Prophet, he drink sitting because Shaitan, he drink with him. If you drink standing, Shaitan, he drink with you. All right, and what's wrong with that? But you just said to me, this is because if it's healthy, but the, but, but the fact it's superstition, it's stupid. Right, how are you guys say superstition? Don't you Christians believe? Okay, hold on, my friend. How you a second ago you said to me that this is a hadith proven to be healthy, but your prophet giving the excuse for that because shaitan he drink with you. So is it because it's healthy or because Muhammad is afraid that if he do it this way, standing, shaitan, he will drink with him? Both. What do you mean both? It's both. Well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> My friend, but your prophet, he did not say both. Your prophet, he said shaitan, he drink with you. He did not say both. Did he say both? You know, you know, almost everything in Islam that we do, oh, they almost everything has benefits, like fasting. My, my, and my stuff. friend, everything have a. Why are you changing the topic? Why are you changing the topic? I'm not it, okay, topic. so so it is. Is it is it both or your prophet? He said that this is because Shaitan he drink with you. Why can't it be both? The, well, he did not say prophet, both. He, did he say, did, my friend? Did he say this is because it's healthy, or he said because of the Shaitan? Thing about the shaitan, that's uh, the rape, the unseen. So we, we don't, uh, you need to uh, word, like talk about that. The, my friend, the question is very simple. Did your prophet mention health or he mentioned shaitan, which means he is believing in superstition stuff, cartoon? All right, do you disagree with me when I say that everything in Islam, uh, they all have benefits? My friend, what everything? What, 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 okay, guys, look how they change the topic. How in the world your prophet, how in the world your prophet believe that if you drink water standing, shaitan will drink with you? Well, look, here's the thing. I see you, you, you make fun of these things and many things in the Quran that talk about demons and stuff. But Christians, you believe the same thing too. So why are you laughing? We don't believe in the same thing. Show me what it says. Where Jesus said, don't drink, <laughs> don't drink standing because shaitan, yeah, he will drink with you. Uh, Satan tempted Jesus for 40 days or something like that. But, but okay, <laughs> Shaitan, he tried when he said tempted, he said to Jesus, do this. Can you do this? Jesus did not do what Shaitan he wants. So this is not really a temptation for Jesus. It's a try of temptation. But you're a prophet, and I want to show you the, show you the hadith. Did your prophet say, and he agree, that Shaitan, he command him, and he, 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 he take command from Shaitan? That's not true. Okay, let's see if it's true or not. I will, I will put the hadith for you on the screen and you tell me if it's true or not. Alright. Here we go. This is Sahih Muslim. It says, None among you 
who is who is not attached from among the shaitan the devil the companion they said even you prophet even you he said yes even me but Allah helped me against him so I am safe from his hands and he does not command me but to do good do you see it on the screen or I'm making things up there's no what's wrong with the hadith it said the shaitan can't make uh, the prophet do bad things can't tempt him to do bad things okay so shaitan, but, so now so now you must believe that shaitan is Allah because he's the one who command Muhammad who, Muhammad received command from who from shaitan or from Allah you can get command from anyone anyone if you are at the time of the prophet, oh really go okay G the, give me give me an example of good command of shaitan how sh how he is shaitan and he is giving good command like what how how shaitan giving good commands it's, uh, it's it's possible what do you mean possible is a shaitan the guy is shaitan how shaitan he give co good command i thought uh, i thought uh, i thought a prophet of god he should only accept command from his god not from shaitan but now we we based on your uh, 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 answer and the hadith Muhammad received command from Shaitan, and Shaitan gave him good command, like what? To kill the Christians? No. Okay, no, so what, give me that. okay, give me an example of good command of Shaitan, because I want to practice it. I want to practice. I like to practice good command of Shaitan, like what? Uh, it just. It, there's no examples. The, the point of the hadith is that he just can't. Shaitan can't tempt the prophet do bad things. No, he, no, 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 no. The, the point, the point of the hadith, the point of the hadith that Shaitan is commanding your prophet. This is what you learn. Shaitan he pretends to be good while he's bad, and that's in Christianity too. Guys, Shaitan he pretend to be good, but he is bad. Mm. Yeah, and that's in Christianity too. And Satan. I, I'm, 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 you know to be what? A, I am really surprised about your knowledge. You know Christianity very well. You know Islam very well. Anything we say to you, you say this is in Christianity very well. You don't even know your religion. Don't tell me about Christianity. Listen, you mentioned to me that your prophet, he told you to drink standing, sorry, sitting, and you said this is healthy. But your prophet drink sitting to, uh, standing too, and we can show you. Your prophet, he's, he, he, do, he pays sitting and he pays standing too, and I can show you. And your prophet, when he says, don't drink standing that not because of anything except his superstition and stupidity because he think that shaitan will drink with you if he told him that it was because it's healthy the seventh century arabs would understand okay, my friend what, what, the, where, the, where it says you know, where it says where it says now that also has benefits okay where it says that this is healthy where are you are getting this from I'm saying he doesn't have to say it's healthy because no he has to say arabs because then you are fabricating he is not giving you other reason he is not giving you a reason. So did he say this is the reason? He didn't say so. You are making things up, trying to make Muhammad as a prophet. Let me ask you: Do women have uh, testicles? No. Okay. How the Quran says that the man's sperm coming from his backbone and the woman's sperm coming from her top side of her ribs. All right. How is that can happen? Uh -huh. How does that does that say women have testicles? Yeah, because it says that women she have a sperm coming from the from the location of the necklace in her in her chest. How in the world the women she can do that? According to science, you are the one who's mentioned the word science, not me. According to science, the sperm of the man does not come from the backbone, and women don't have a sperm. believe anything the Quran says so you can just try pl try playing with the verses and saying this is wrong or this is right but whatever God said I don't believe in it okay so you believe that uh, with my respect to your mother your mother she have uh, sperm coming from her ribs and that will make you baby you so, believe in that how does that mean that she has testicles well, uh, well how, how the sperm will okay who is going to make the sperm her breast where the sperm will come from you tell me Testicles is the one who make uh, things happen. There's a special organs, the testicles and beside them, make this process happen for the man. The man only have a sperm, women don't have a sperm. This is number one. And the man's sperm is not coming from a bone. The Quran is wrong. 
and women have no sperm but did the Quran claim that both men and women have a sperm and the sperm of the women came in her ribs do you believe in that I mean, would Muhammad not have known that I mean would he not have known that at his time what does time so but your prophet claiming that he received this is from Quran from Allah so if this is a stupid that's mean Muhammad is a liar no, but you would say he's a false prophet he's lying and he's saying false things but but what how would he not he, he would he would know like the truth of that about women and sperm and stuff this is the truth now for you the truth is women have a sperm coming from her chest this is the truth for you I, I, I never read that verse but if uh, the Quran says something then it's then it's true oh, so we what believe our so whatever the Quran says the Quran says something is true okay so women now according to you just because the Quran says so uh, women they have uh, sperm and the sperm is coming from the location of the necklace in her chest so are you, 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 are you, you are focused you, uh, on one uh, verse, but uh, there's a bunch of other verses in the Quran. I'm not focusing on every verse. I'm open to any verse, but if one verse is a stupid, the rest are a stupid too. Well, the, the, the verse about the semen thing, uh, I don't know a lot about it. But, but my friend, uh, the verse, if this one is... But if, the, if, if this like, one... If, example, okay, hold on. If this one... Spring, that, that's one I can respond to. When I, which one? Which when one? I which one you can respond to? Which one? What? Which one you can respond to? The the sun setting in uh, some muddy water one. Okay, one, okay, uh, okay, res okay. Can... Respond to this one, uh, guys. He can respond to the sun setting in muddy water. Respond. Go ahead. All right. For the verse, it talks about uh, what Dulkarnain saw. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, and you can't prove otherwise. Uh, okay, but who is the one is talking? No, I, I'm I'm saying it. The, the verse said that he he saw the sun setting there. No problem. But who is the one is no. talking? Who is the one you are saying? The verse saying he saw the sun. Who is the one is talking? Allah. Okay, guys. If Allah he said that Alexander the Great he saw the sun sitting in murky water, that mean Allah believed that Alexander the Great. This is what he saw, correct? Yeah, I understand. Okay. But there's a thing. Uh, okay. There's but read, but read, but read with me. Read with me. Read with me. Read with me. He says and. Until when he reached the setting place of the sun, he did not say right away, just he found it. Allah saying, Until he reached the setting place of the sun, until now, Alexander the Great is not there. Okay, where we can find the setting place of the sun? Because according to the, the story here, this guy is going a journey, long journey, until he found the setting place of the sun. So, according to your God, not according to Alexander the Great, there's a place where the sun set. But the word in Arabic, uh, Maghrib, uh, the place, the setting place of the sun, it can mean the setting time of the sun. And the word Wajda, it can mean. No, 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 no. In Arabic, doesn't mean that because it says, "Hatta ida balaga maghrib al-shams," until he reached the area where the sun set. Yes, balaga. And the word here is not about timing only; it's about timing and location. And let me show you. Do you, your prophet, understand the Quran or not? Course. Okay, so if do you accept what your, your prophet explained this verse or you don't accept it? All right, wait, hold, let me just say one thing. You said the setting place on the word Belaga in uh, chapter 19, verse 7. The word Belaga was used and it was used to say a time. Mm -hmm. uh, you said, well, Belaga. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay, here we go. So, verse number 90, the same chapter. Hatta ida Belaga matli ashams, the same thing until he came. To the rising place of the sun. This is your Muslim translation. It's a place. But look, but Belaga means reaching a time. A reaching a time. No, you reaching a place. Does it say place. this? Does it say in your translation, right? The rising place of the sun. Does it say that? This is your Muslim translation, not mine. Okay, and, and okay. Yeah, the, the so, right. so he reached what? So he reached what? He reached. He reached the rising place of the sun. This is a place. That's Okay, that where is that location where the sun, which is, there is no shelter upon them. So there is people who they are there. And according to the story, there's people who live there in that area. And they are hiding, they are fighting with people. They are called Gog and Magog. So Zulkarnain, he built a bridge between them. And Gog and Magog, according to your prophet, each one of them is 1,000 to 1 a human. Which means, if there is 7 billion a human being in this earth now, there is 7 billion, sorry, 7 trillion. Gog and Magog, where we can find those seven trillion behind the bridge or behind the dam. 
Is that the thing? Where is somewhere? Where? 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 No. Where? 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 No. Where? 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 Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. 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 I say to you, do you agree with your prophet? Explain the verse, or you don't. But why are you changing topics? I'm not changing topic. We're talking about Malibu Shams. Do you agree with your prophet? Explain. Do you agree with your prophet? Explain how, where, where you found us. Do you, we are not changing the topic. Do you accept your prophet? Explain the verse. Yes or no? Yes, I do. Okay, let us see what your prophet said and then everybody will laugh. Here we go. Here we go. Your prophet said, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah, SAW, shortwave FM radio, who was riding a donkey while he, the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this set? Who is talking? Muhammad. Asking who? Abu Dhar. Do you know yes, where this set? I, I know the hadith. I know the hadith. Okay. And, uh, so, so what he said? He said, he, the, the, the guy, he said to him, I do not know the Prophet uh, Allah and Allah knows best. He said, it's set in a spring of warm water. Okay. I know the hadith. Mm. I wanted to say tell you something about it. The mm. hadith, it's sahih, but the, the words, it sets in a spring water. They were only narrated by a, one person, by four other, four or five other people. Mm. They they said the hadith, but they didn't they didn't include the words. Uh, okay. Uh, it's, but but the hadith, but the hadith. Okay. Aster. Okay, my friend. So the hadith, the original hadith says what? Give me the original hadith. What it says? Talks about how the sun goes under Allah's throne and it asks thank you guys. Okay, I will go with you. I will go. With you. You, are, you are watching Fifi videos, which is uh, proving to me that the, the, this guy is, is helping us. Listen, you just said the original video is the sun going under the throne of Allah, correct? Do you agree? Yeah, that's the original one. All right, and the one with the and this and, and, water, okay. narrated by one first person, of all, so first of all, this, this hadith is correct, is approved, is authentic. Secondly, the hadith you just agreed with it, proving to me that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because the sun, okay. uh, hold on, you're a prophet explaining that the sun goes every day, how the sun move, right? The sun goes every day from point A to point B, correct? It's, it's metaphorical when it says... Okay, that okay, take care, take care, take care. I don't have I, I don't have time for liars, you are a potato. You're a prophet, what metaphorical? You're a prophet was sitting in the donkey. He saw the sun sitting. He said, do you know what the sun said? Do you know where it goes? This metaphorical now? Aren't you people ashamed? And he said, and this is the interpretation of a chapter 36, verse number 38, that the sun runs in its fixed course. <laughs> 